This is Nancy Woods here and I'm at the Batu Caves. Uh, this is in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. It's very, very famous. Uh, it's a Hindu uh, uh, Hindu shrine and Hindu Rama on scriptures based on the Ramayan and the Gita, uh, the the Upadeshas, um, and uh, it's one of the oldest uh, mytholo myth mythological caves um, in Malaysia. Uh, lots of tourists come here to visit the temple, and uh, you can see behind me there uh, a very very big large statue of Hanuman. Uh, one other thing is here that you will also see a lot of monkeys uh, naturally in this location. Uh, I'm just going to try and show you. They're very friendly here with the tourists and Hanuman is also the monkey god. So uh, I'm just going to try and turn the camera here. Uh, we're just going to try and get uh, a picture of a monkey to show you uh, how how they are so there you saw one running and uh, the place is uh, full of these monkey uh, uh, monkeys here uh, and tourists are also feeding them as we come inside these caves I just want to tell you that uh, uh, So there's a monkey there. I just want to say to you that um, you can get here from, it's about six to seven kilometers on the train. Uh, you take a train from Central, KL Central, and it's a straight train from KL Central to the Batu Caves. As you enter this uh, Batu Caves, there are a number of Tamil ladies who are selling, uh, you know, these, uh, they have open stalls here and uh, they're also speaking in Tamil. Uh, uh, trinkets and, uh, you know, all kinds of uh, Hindu religious items. Uh, what are you selling? This You're from where? From where? India. India? Yeah. From where? Tamil Nadu? Tamil Nadu, yes. Madurai. Madurai? Yeah. No, you can't. You? I'm also from Chennai. Oh, Chennai, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So you, you're selling over here? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. This is the Batu Caves. Batu Caves. Okay. Inside is the temple, right? And you Batu Caves. Any Ramayan temple? Ramayan temple. Uh, okay. Nice place. So all Tamil ladies are here. Yeah, I'm seeing. So as you can see, uh, this is. Uh, a lot of uh, Tamil ladies have uh, I've got stalls here and uh, they are fully speaking in Tamil language um, so this is uh, one of the very uh, uh, you know people from all over the globe are coming over here and uh, just to get the experience of Hinduism and uh, the monkey god uh, but I'm going to go back to again uh, but just you can see on the camera they're just running around everywhere and I'm just going to see. I, I can't get a picture, I don't think so, but uh, these temples over here, this is a very big statue of Hanuman and uh, it's, it's uh, look at that at the back of me and surrounded by us is uh, all these caves and uh, stones and hilly uh, regions all over here uh, as we are going to just have a look outside uh, I want to take you to one very beautiful uh, uh, statue of Vishnu I haven't seen a statue like this of Vishnu uh, so I'm really looking forward to showing you the statue as well uh, but just before that, I'm just going to tell you that uh, the Sri Maha Mariman Temple, Devastanan Kuala Lumpur, there's one also in uh, uh, Chinatown, and I've made a video on this. So it's the same, uh, it's the same, uh, what you say, it's the same uh, temple that is linked from there to here. Uh, the same uh, theme is going on. Uh, 
but this is the Ramayana cave uh, and there's a huge statue of Lord Vishnu and it's really very beautiful because there is a waterfall from the cave uh, which is naturally flowing on Lord Vishnu and I have never seen anything uh, so beautiful of Lord Vishnu on a waterfall so I'm going to try and turn the camera again and I hope you're able to get a glimpse of this beautiful picture so uh, that was the picture and uh, you can see also in the same area uh, there is uh, Arjuna and Krishna and the chariot uh, where Arjuna is seeking wisdom from Krishna uh, in the battlefield of the Mahabharata. Uh, so I'm just going to turn that to you as well and see if you can see those chariots and there at the back there is the sermon going on between Krishna and uh, 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 Lord Krishna as well as uh, the Arjuna. Uh, this obviously in, in, Hindu, uh, in Hindu scriptures, uh, the Bhagavad Gita is based on uh, Lord Vishnu and reincarnation of Lord Krishna. So uh, it's a very beautiful statue. Uh, It was, it's a very beautiful statue, really big and magnanimous. Uh, so in front of a small person like me, uh, the statue shows the greatness of this universe and the creator and the, uh, you know, the destroyer and the knowledge giver, uh, Vishnu, Lord Vishnu. He's standing there with his four arms and his, uh, his uh, crown on his head and uh, uh, just looking down at, uh, just looking down at this uh, scene from the Bhagavad Gita of the chariot and where Arjuna is seeking wisdom from Krishna. The water flow uh, actually gives it a really good dimension because uh, it makes you understand that uh, the nature, force of nature, which is the waterfall uh, and uh, how uh, uh, how uh, uh, you know human and nature and where the spirituality fit in uh, and everything is in blending with each other so there is like a kind of a very peaceful atmosphere here as well uh, I'm going to just walk down this area and uh, just show you whatever I can uh, so there is these uh, uh, it's uh, it's all like in a basically in a massive cut cave uh, which you can go in where the Gita Upadesha is also sending uh, writings on their plaque for example it says whatever happened was good whatever is happening is also good what will happen that will be good what did you lose and that what and what are you crying for so this kind of uh, uh, is based on the karma philosophy and the karma theory of the hinduism um, and therefore um, it's a constant reminder of the hindu scriptures um, as uh, our dates back to over 5000 years ago uh, this whole area is is quite nice uh, because the prominence of the reincarnation of Lord Shiva which is the Hanuman as you can see and Lord Vishnu himself uh, in a very much smaller form reincarnated as Lord Krishna so that is the image of the Hanuman standing there uh, in that particular pose and he's opening his heart out uh, as you can see and he shows uh, his true form what he where, from where he was reincarnated um, so this is where the famous Batu temple is located in Kuala Lumpur 
uh, and it's not very far from uh, once you come out of the station it's just like a stone throw uh, so it's very convenient to get here as well uh, the, the, I think this temple closes around 5 o'clock so it's just only during the uh, the special zone uh, special times from I think 9 to 5 or 10 to 5 uh, obviously you can't wear shoes inside these temples uh, because of its uh, religious um, connotations but there are lots and lots of monkeys here uh, I'm going to try and show you uh, you can see and they are eating rice actually somebody has given a lot of rice Uh, it's quite a sight uh, to watch uh, the monkeys everywhere uh, over here. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very nice and hot and sunny day and you will find a horoscope man as well here uh, who is reading people's palms. Uh, tell me sir, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm recording this. <laughs> no, no, no. Are you the no, astrologer? No, no. Are you astrologer? Are you reading astrology? This gentleman is trying to read astrology, but he doesn't want to come on camera. But he's, uh, he's, uh, uh, you know, this is, uh, you always get this outside these temple areas. Uh, so you just have to be very careful because there's a lot of people who will just take your money away. Uh, so behind over here, there's huge, mountains as you can see again the drop at the back uh, and it's it's all the cave area i'm sure there's like kind of snakes and uh in in inside the caves uh so that is how it is but the monkeys seem to be entertaining the people quite a lot uh just have a look at this one And of course, uh, they are very friendly to the tourists here, uh, the monkeys. Uh, there's also a man selling like Indian sweets. Uh, there's a, there are stalls here selling fruits and drinks. And uh, uh, it's, it's just a place where everybody uh, comes here for a visit to see this uh, Batu Caves. Uh, there is just one more place I'm trying to get to. Um, I'm walking towards it. There's a lot of pigeons as well here. Uh, people are feeding the pigeons. Uh, there's no restrictions of what you can feed. Uh, there's a lot of uh, Malaysians here and of course a massive uh, Tamil Hindu population also that is in these areas. Uh, so it's, it's quite commercialized outside like normal temples. There's lots of food joints and look, I'm going to just show you some sweetmeats as well. Uh, there's lots of uh, different varieties of food and drink available but I just want to take you to one more shrine here uh, which is again uh, very huge and uh, I just need to get this on my camera very quickly before I turn my camera off so you can see at the back there uh, the shrine that I'm talking about and they are the famous steps about i'm not really sure again i haven't counted please do a google search on this but i think about 300 steps that take you right inside the cave can you look at that at the back of me
So on that note, I'm going to say, I hope you've enjoyed this. This is the uh, the Batu Cave external areas, but the but the statue itself are really very large, uh, and uh, basically uh, showing the magnanimity of the universe, so to be. Uh, so there you go. Look at that statue. All right, on that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching and keep watching my videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.